Hello? Yeah, I'm on my way. Welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogtober Day 15. In today, in today's video, this is my first time doing a video like this. I'm doing a reaction video to Diamond Flawless. Not sure if you guys follow her on social medias or know of her Instagram, but if you don't, I'm just gonna update you guys on the background. Um, honestly, you could watch her video to see what i'm about to get into but um she was dating another youtuber goes by the name of king said and apparently he put his hands on her he choked her he was abusive and her dad came out with a video addressing the situation and then he came out king said came out with a video addressing the father and about how no more lies and he's not he didn't put her hands on her or anything like that and then diamond came out with a video addressing her side but now she's come out with another video and it says response to king says no more lies so let's get into it y'all i i want let's 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 see what it's about the video is 46 minutes long um I don't know if I'm gonna make this video 46 minutes long. I might just cut it up into pieces because this is a long video to uh, um, go through. So let's get it, y'all. A female before. I've never heard a female before. In Jason's video, no more lies. Okay, guys, if y'all see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my laptop. So let's go. Where he's wearing an anti abuse shirt. Not only is he wearing the shirt in the video, but you also did a whole photo shoot in the shirt with the views crossed out to promote your video. And you want to give away anti-abuse shirts, offer them to your fans saying, hey, who wants a shirt? However, in your whole No More Lies video where you're supposed to be talking about the abuse allegations, you failed to mention the marks you left on my neck didn't bring up one time. That are still, wait, 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 they're still here. Hold on, we got some water. Oh, wow. Kind of faded, but they're still there. You feel to mention the marks on my neck that I posted on my and my abuse video that she barely touched on, but we're not going to even talk about that. You also didn't address the messages between me and you about the situation. But let's keep going, though. But well, let's keep going, though. But before I play this video recording of a conversation me and Jason had on August 30th, I just want to say, I'm done saving you. Period. I'm done saving you. I've been way too nice and saving you for way too long. So today, I am done saving you. Run the clip. When I, when I get you, it's really <laughs> Oh Yo, I'm knocking stuff over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all heard what I heard, right? All right, I got two things for this. Y'all heard what I heard when I hit you. So he verbally said, he verbally admitted to hitting her, right? And shout out to Diamond for, I don't know how she did it, but she got got it on tape hiding the camera or whatever but girl shout out to you for getting that because he literally just said literally just said when i hit you i was trying to get your attention first of all you don't hit nobody to try to get attention like and then him even saying that is like an excuse for hitting her like oh 
Let's go. Actually, wrong. Because Jason and me and you are not the same. And we never will be. I always told you this because, you know, I can't sit here in front of a camera, post a video, fake crying. This shit, this shit getting me. I'm sorry, I. To a fan base of mine about a situation that never happened. But you can. Last time I checked, abuse is not something to joke about. And you really think it's a joke. Your whole no more lies, why didn't you just admit to what you did? I want to prove how sick these people are. Whoa there, buddy. Calm down. Who's really sick? Who's really sick? Because you even said it yourself when you hit me. You did it to grab my attention. Sick. Hey guys, it's Diamond, and this is part two to my previous video, but today in this video, we're going to be addressing and answering all the accusations Jason has made on my name. Now, I owe it to my support. <laughs> Y'all, you know another thing that's killing me that I noticed that King said did in his video too, the little background music, like the little jog music, yeah, that's killing me. Supporters, Team Flawless, Flawless Family, my full truth. So as many of you know, in Jason's Normal Lies video, where he addresses his abuse allegations, he only touched really mainly on my dad's video for an hour of the whole hour 37 video, a full hour of my Yeah, I didn't watch that whole video, y'all. I scrolled through the comments and... I seen somebody said fast forward to like 57 minutes or something like that. I did not watch that whole thing because I was like, sir, whatever you got to say, it don't take an hour and 30 minutes to say it. Dad's video. Now last time I checked, my dad's a third party person. He, in this situation is between me and you, Jason. So really, if you're gonna make a video on it, it really should have been towards my video. Well, let's keep going though. So my dad's video, he actually addressed being a doctor, a medical doctor, based off Jason's actions and the way he was towards me and everything. I had a mental disorder, like a personality mental disorder. Now, Jason goes and says this. In order for someone to tell you what you're going through, you would have to go get a test or you would have to go to a clinic. To save you some money, Jason, and a little trip to the clinic, I... I'm not no doctor, I'm not no psychiatrist, psychologist, no type of medical doctor and nothing, you know, I'm 18 years old and I'm a pre-med student in college, yes I am. However, I do have this book, this is actually the Bible. <laughs> Hold on y'all, this book says Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. So I don't know if y'all know, but her dad is a doctor. I'm not 100% sure what type of doctor he is, but I'm pretty sure he is either a psychiatrist or a psychologist because he does talk about in the video that he made um, diagnosing mental disorders and like he talked about anxiety and abusive relationships and he actually talked about it. He dealt with patients, you know, that has been in situations like so. So I do believe he is one of the two but <laughs> sis pulled out the whole book okay she pulled out the whole book king sid jason whatever his name is mental disorders that doctors use to diagnose all the mental disorders that there literally is is in this book dsm5 now i know it's been a while since you ever touched the book but let's read a little bit Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of things in here like anxiety, bulimia, schizophrenia. Oh my gosh, I know. Big, big words. Boring for you, Jason, I know. But page six. Why is she coming for this man like this? No, I understand why she coming for the man like this, but I'm just saying like, sis ain't holding back. She's tired. Period. 69. Narcissistic personality disorder. Now, this is, has to do with your personality. Number one, has a grandiose sense of self-importance, exaggerates achievements and talents, expects to be recognized as superior without commensurate achievements. Number two, believes that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or associate with other special people. Number three, requires excessive 
admiration, meaning you always need attention. Number four, takes advantage of others to achieve his or own ends. Interesting. Number five, is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her. Number six, shows arrogant, haughty behaviors. Now, haughty means when you think you're basically the like you're better than everybody now not only are you a narcissistic liar you also have a borderline personality disorder but let, let me read though number one frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment which means you can't be alone i proved that in the text messages between us but we'll get into that later number two inappropriate intense anger or difficulty controlling anger frequent displays of temper constant anger and recurrent physical action i've never went to go get a lab i've never went to go get checked don't 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 try to think about it like am i making any sense to y'all no you're not making any sense to us so moving forward jason also said this but I never said anything. Notice I have not said one word about this situation. I've never brought it up. Your buddy is doing your dirty work for you. And he says it himself. I personally told Jason, you do not have to say nothing, bro. I mean, your best friend posts something about your relationship. You're not going to know about. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's one thing that did make me mad about this whole situation. Like, I know, like, your best friend's supposed to have your back and all. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when... You don't know the whole story. You can't speak on something. I'm pretty sure King Sid did not tell his best friend that he choked Diamond and left marks on her. I'm pretty sure he didn't tell him that. So his best friend was wrong for jumping in the situation. You wasn't there. You don't got marks left on your body. Like, why, why are you even speaking? For clout. Nobody was talking to you. This was between them two. Nobody nobody brought you in it. Oh, I already told Jason. He doesn't have to say nothing. You don't even got to speak. Nigga. She doesn't even go here. I didn't know that he post that. No, you guys teamed up to do this little attack on Instagram. Jason posts his little I'm single paragraph. He says, I know I definitely got you guys to help me. I appreciate everyone that's been supporting me. I know a lot of people might switch up. At this time, I don't even care. I just want to be genuinely happy. This post has been made to clear the air and not to start any problems. Hundred sign. Then two hours later, you one of your best friends posts, we already heard this many times, after he been faithful to you. Ha 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 ha. See this is what I'm talking about. Like no. He did not have to jump into the situation. I don't even know who that is. But. No. Nobody told you to come in the situation. Like this wasn't about you. And you didn't even know the whole story. So it, I, I truly hope. That he feels stupid. After seeing this video of jason verbally saying i hit you to get your attention i hope he felt stupid after seeing the marks on her body i hope he feels stupid i just hope he feels stupid because you can't just jump out there if you don't know the whole story keep your mouth shut because your best friend is an abuser but let's keep going though uh, did nothing but support and love you. Yeah, he did nothing but that. You're right, cause you know, you know Nate, you know. That's what I'm saying. Sis. That's sick, sick, sick already. And then he also Nate wanted to say you made it seem like you was at home too last night when you called. First of all, you need to learn how to speak English, right? Second of all, ain't nobody, ain't nobody called nobody. Matter of fact, me and Jason haven't spoken days prior to that post or whatever to that day. Call, text, nothing. Now you're just adding crap to your little post for what? For clout. Because this is not your relationship. And you wouldn't even know what your friend did to me. Yikes. Let's move forward. Now it's time to get into how Diamond has always been cheating on me. How Diamond has always been cheating on me. To cover up that she was cheating last night. Cheating? We would have to be like in an actual... 
actual. Yeah, I'm sorry, but these sounds are killing me. Okay. Well, us dating, you know, relationship type stuff. You know, us hanging out, chilling. No, we was not together. We was not together. And it doesn't even matter. Because, let's be clear, Jason. What I'm trying to understand, what is your definition of cheating? Was it me holding hands with somebody? Was it text messages, intimate, or any type of text messages between me and somebody else? Was it me kissing somebody else? Was it me being, you know, lovey-dovey, I love you, you love me, Barney-type somebody else? Was it? Since we don't know your definition of it, let's Hear the definition from Merriam-Webster Dictionary of cheating. Cheating. To secretly have sex with someone other than your husband, wife, or partner. Infidelity. A situation in which someone has sex with someone who is not their husband, wife, or partner. Or in this case, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Having sex with somebody, right? That's what it says. Okay. Honestly, you would have been better off showing a clip of the fake prank and making something out of that. He was texting other girls, what's up with you? But you... <laughs> We won't even... <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. What's up with you? You are really cute, I must confess. Oh, that's... Oh my gosh, do y'all see this? Okay, so this is a message request and it's somebody's at name at the top. But what's so weird about this is it's three days ago, it says Smooth Gia. I don't know if y'all know Smooth Gia. I don't watch his videos like that, honestly. I just know him from watching Diamond. But it says, you're really cute, I must confess. And then King said it at the top and said, what's up with you? Ain't y'all friends? Why y'all trying to talk to the same girl? And why are you trying to... How are you going to talk about what she was doing? But she was... And then going to say... A girl trying to get attention. But you going to say what's up with you with the eyes. But she trying to get attention. Get into that. How you hitting girls up in the DM. Wait, wait, wait. I missed that one. I missed that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In this case, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. It was more, it gave me more like stalker vibes. You know, like stalker. You really just proved your. Hold on, y'all, I'm missing it. <laughs> we won't even get into that. How? Yeah, I deemed her. Uh, yeah, I DM'd her before and she wanted attention and posted it. Uh, why can't I talk today? And posted it. Who and when? Uh, uh, by a while back. Question mark, question mark. I said, who? It don't even matter. It's old news. Someone just sent that to me. It's not old. I said, who, dog? Actually, never mind. Yeah, but anyways, your dad texts back. Wow. So he blatantly just ignored what, everything that she had to say and was like, whatever. But clearly, I mean, okay, given somebody could have screenshot it a while ago and sent it. But then again, why would you even DM it in the first place? You hitting girls up in a DM. So and the proof that you provided in your No More Lies video was more, it gave me more like stalker vibes. You know, I'm like stalker. You really just proved you're a stalker. And you were stalking me when we weren't even dating. And we were not sexually active at all either. As a matter of fact, this was June 5th. Remember this date, June 5th. June 5th. And remember this date. Yes, remember this date. But for what reason? Uh, and you wasn't dating. Why is she mocking him? And then you showed proof of these messages. Oh my gosh. Let's play that part. As a matter of fact, here's my proof. <laughs> <laughs> we're, well, we're the messages. All right, so now that y'all see. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't. Is invisible. Cute proof, though. Cute. That was cute. Does that make me a spy for checking where my girlfriend is? My girlfriend. Is girlfriend. Yes, Jason. 
was it not your girlfriend? So stop, literally like for a long, long time in your video, you was talking about me being your girlfriend. My girlfriend, I, my girlfriend was, I couldn't know where my girlfriend, I'm not your girlfriend. I was not your girlfriend on June 5th. I was not actually, you even did a video. You, you know, you made it all over social media on how you asked me out day one, day two, day three. July when you asked 15. me to be your girlfriend was <laughs> July. So no, I wasn't your girlfriend, me and he was friends. Then he went back, sent me a picture of a house. If y'all don't know, this is Diamond's dad, and that is the video that he went through with the information that he knew and from the text message of him and Jason texting back and forth or whatnot. Yes, I sent him a picture of the house. Now, how did I get a picture of the house? How did you get a picture of the house? Do you get... Just keep running it, please. Google Maps. But how did I have the address? But how did you have the address? You searched it on Google Maps. Yes, we hear you. And I'm just thinking, I was just your friend, you feel? And Alexa, Alexa, you hear me? Play Obsessed by Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I wanna know. Lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows It's clear that you're obsessed with me Oh well, it's clear that you're obsessed with me Oh well, that's how I was feeling Like, damn, I was just your friend Well, let me tell y'all something guys Let me tell y'all something guys <laughs> Jason, did it just take a The way she keeps mimicking this Okay. picture of the house he actually put the video of him pulling up to the house hey diamond hey remember this hey diamond i do remember that video so you're honking screaming my name why didn't you also send this video no this is funny this is funny i know you try to hide the car oh yeah this is funny Okay, remember that. You're going viral. Where you're... She's going viral because she's at somebody's house. Like, that right there gives me controlling vibes because, like she said, they were just friends at the time, one. Two, she could have been at anybody's house. It didn't necessarily mean that it had to be a nigga. You get what I'm saying? It could have been she was at a, a, a girl's house or something. Like, I don't... And the, then the first thing you said out your mouth is you going viral. Like that's, like she said, his temper and his controlling and his obsessiveness is showing. Walking up on the property to the cars, doing the absolute most, honking, screaming, coming on props. On June 5th, the way he got that picture of the house and, you know, searched up the address or location on Google Maps was because me and my friends, yeah, shared location, you know, me and him were friends. That was what we were. There was nothing more than just friends and us filming videos. And if I would have known, he, if I would have... And I do feel that thing about her saying about as far as sharing location because I share location with my mom, my friends so i feel the location thing like it's just a safety thing like especially mm, i share location with my friends too so i could see if i known he was a stalker i wouldn't have gave him my location he kept going on and on about how's your girlfriend how the hell would it not be my place to know where my girlfriend is and you know i need to know where she's at if you guys your girlfriend wasn't doing this you need to know where she's at and this goes on to reminding me about your narcissistic borderline disorders so me and jason started dating on july 15th now this is a fact that needed to be discussed that's when you asked me to be your girlfriend on july 15th and then i ended the relationship on august 14th you broke up with me august 14th you heard it right and clear. August 14th, when you choked me. Yes, August 14th. You it's still really can't seem to remember that day and what had happened. And I said, I don't want to be with you anymore. And you reacted and you said, don't say that again. You put me against the wall. 
don't say that shit again, was what had happened. And that is why I had to play along with you after that situation so that way you wouldn't come at me any type of other way. Now, for that being a month, technically, almost a month of us full-on dating, we was together 24-7. I'm always with her. I can't remember in the months been of us dating, us not together. When you see him, you see me. When you see me, you see him. We was always together because he never wanted to be separate from me which I thought was like a cute thing clingy thing but really it was more of a sense that you couldn't be alone you didn't mm -hmm. like being sleeping alone being alone none of that you even said it yourself you to be with her. no man should ever put their hands on a woman no they should not you don't respect me if you do that you don't respect me as a person as a human being as a as a figure as a person you don't respect me so what do I owe you Nothing. There's a lot of things I could have done in that moment of time when you put your hands on me and you choked me. To the point where I could not speak anymore. Yes, there's a lot of things I could have done. We went the sweetest route ever. My dad tried to set up a meeting with you and your parents mm -hmm. to talk about what, have you, what you have done to me and to end our relationship with everybody there, with their family and my family there. That was helping you, you know? That was helping you. However, my mom also sent this message to Jason. Okay, I gotta read this. Jason, you have 10 minutes to leave the house and do not come back. I'm on my way home. You're not welcome in the house. You got a lot of nerve to come in my house. Leave in 10 minutes or I'm calling the cops. You're messing with the wrong. Mama was mad. Saying that she was gonna call the police because she wanted to if he ever came by at the house again. Our goal wasn't to get you arrested. Our goal wasn't to do none of that. It was to get you help and just for you to leave me alone, really. But to do it in front and confront you about it in front of adults, real adults. Mm -hmm. I played it along because you couldn't take the answer no. You told me to never say that shit again. So basically, I'm just a possession and item to you. It doesn't matter what I feel, what I say, and what I what I like don't want. It doesn't matter. Right then and there, I learned your true real colors as a person and your character and your feelings towards females and women and me. But if I'm not an abuser, then that means you're making up a fake story, right? I can't make up the marks you made on my neck. I can't make up the text that recording. between us. Also, I can't make up when you said what you said. Yeah, I mean, you verbally said it. Broke up with me on the 14th, so I'm not understanding why are you still calling me babe. You're not understanding? Well, let's make it clear for you, Jason. I had to do what I had to do and play along with you. Like I said, well, I'm going to repeat it so you can understand this time. And as controlling, obsessive, and observant as you are, Jason, in our relationship, you would have told everybody, like you said, I would have told every. I, you know I would have told everybody if you weren't the one that had put those marks on my neck. You would have told everybody that. You would have told everybody, hey, there's marks on Diamond's neck and I don't know where they came from. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. Facts. You're telling us you've never seen the marks on my neck? And all of which you haven't addressed in your No More Lies video an hour 37 minutes. Now what does that tell you? And before I get into the messages between us that you didn't address, let's get into the messages that you did address. As a matter of fact, on August 30th, I think I tried to break up with you. Oh my gosh, you tried to break up with me. What did I respond? So I said, I'm not going to lose myself because I know the person who I really am. And I just want to say it was good while it lasted, but we're officially done. Just go in the lane you wanted to go in and don't look back. And you know what she said? The lane I want to go in is the one I've been in. I'm still here for you whenever you need me, and I hope you're there for me too. I'm still here for you whenever you... Damn! <laughs> you damn! You need some reading lessons! <laughs> okay, one and two things. I was just like thinking in my head the way he was reading, like, honey. I'm gonna need you to read a little bit more fluently, okay? Two, um, I don't see how she, he's saying that she basically tried to like, 
when he sent his breakup text like what she said was basically like okay cool i'm gonna be you know i I'll always be there for you and i and i hope you're there for me too like that's basically saying okay cool i respect your decision you know if you need anything holla at me i hope i can do the same she didn't she didn't say anything in the lines of like no i don't want to break up or anything no she didn't say that so how did you try to break up with that and the next thing you said after she said that was do you know where my memory card is or have you seen my memory card or whatever they said so i mean <laughs> Let me read it for you guys more fluently i'm still here for you whenever you need it i hope you're there for me too uh, that is what I responded. That's basically being some peaceful go ahead. Yeah. But as long, you know what I mean? Like, you said what you, okay, you saying that? And I was just chilling back saying, was I sitting here saying, no, what no, but don't leave me. Right, no. see, see. I try to break up with you. <laughs> I said, I'm still for, I'm, I said, I'm still here for you whenever you need, and I hope you're there for me too. So you want to be robotic and Let's be robotic. Then you texted me, do you remember where I put my memory card? Now, all of which you were here. You brought this message up. We're here. On August 30th. Remember August 30th? You guys heard that date already. Do you remember where I put my memory card? And I said, and then I didn't say nothing. And then he goes, we're going to talk later, one on one. And I said, okay. Which goes back to that video recording that I have of our conversation. I, I just, I'm questioning, Jason, if you already put that, that part of when you tried to break up with me. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why didn't you scroll down more? You know, I'm reading the same exact messages you put. So why didn't you just scroll down more when you said, we're going to talk later one-on-one? -on -one. I said, okay. Then he sends me a screenshot of my tweet that says violence is never okay. And someone said, if he's hitting you, he's not the one no matter what. And then you go, you know this post is not okay. Sad face, sad. Why isn't it okay? You choked her and left marks on her neck. Why isn't it okay that she posts what she feeling? Cause you don't wanna look like the bad person. Cause you don't want nobody to know that you put your hands on females. You trying to save face, honey. And in this video, matter of fact, I just wanna to go, to, go to his YouTube real quick. Just to see, has he posted a video after this? Last video was three weeks ago. But well, let's keep going though. On my way home. And then I said, okay. And he said, we're going to meet up at Albert's, which is like this patient restaurant. And I said, perfect place. And he said, I wanted to be in public and everything. And he's like, go now. And I said, one second. And after we had met up at that restaurant that night, which that's where the video recording is from, that conversation that we were having, this is at 1055. So we left like pretty late. And I said, Jason, be safe, okay? Call me if you need. And this is because he, we were talking or whatever at, at the restaurant and then when we went to go leave or whatever, he started hysterically crying about what he had did to me because I kept confronting him and saying, bro, like, I'm not okay. Like, I'm not, like, this is not going to work. You know, like, this is not okay. And, you know, he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, and he just started crying. So then he, like, drove off, like, out of anger, like, you know, like, anger and, like, literally just bawling. And I've never seen him bawl like that. Also, he was crying and then he left. So that's why I texted him saying that because you're driving off hysterically crying and stuff. And I know, like, that's not a good way to drive. Like, mm -hmm. you can easily crash. Mm -hmm. Then he texted me back saying a screenshot, the same screenshot that says violence is never okay. And he's like, bruh. And I said, what's up? And he's like, why is that still up? And then I said, why is that bothering you so bad that it's still up? It's bothering you because you know you did it. And you don't want anybody to speculate and dig and investigate on why she was tweeting that. Because she could have just been saying violence is never okay just out of any out of any situation. But you were guilty. You snitching on yourself. Got you because he kept like, you know, I felt bad or whatever. Don't bad for you i didn't have to delete it but you know i did post saying like lines is never okay like kind of hinting at what had happened between me and him and then i sent a picture of fine. like my food or whatever because i went out to meet up with my best friend and then he's like you're wasting your money you literally just ate that and he's like please do not talk about me to anyone i don't care how close you are with them 
Okay. That's 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 like ten which my calls right there. Just be, first of all, you can't tell somebody what to speak to somebody else about. That's number one. And that shows how guilty he was because he's she's out with her friend. And the first thing he said is, don't talk to me about anybody. I don't care how close you are. Because he know he was wrong. Like, the 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 guilt is written all over your face, bro. Like, come The reason why he's saying, like, he said the paragraph, I'm not going to lose myself and, like, why we met up and all this stuff was because I was distancing myself so, like, much. You know, when you're just, obs I was just distancing myself and he knew what he had done because he apologized multiple times. He kept accusing me of doing things and he was just, like, honestly, like, you know, messed up in the whole situation because of what was going on and I was not with it no more. And he knew that I was not with it no more. And then you say... How come when we was in a relationship, you never pointed out to anyone that I was abusing you? How come I didn't tell anybody... That's stupid because there's a lot of people in relationships that don't point out that somebody is abusing them for the simple fact that they're scared. That's that's number that's number one. They're scared. Two, they think they love them so they want to stay with them. Or three, they feel like they don't have nobody to turn to to tell anybody. So you sound dumb, stupid. I pray he don't have no little sisters and nieces and none of that that you were abusing me and I didn't bring it up to anyone but I did bring it up to you clearly from what we have went over already I brought it up to my best friend Jasmine the day after it happened happened she was the first person that I brought it up to because she's seen the marks on my neck then I brought it up to my dad on August 16th to be exact because like I said I remember it this is my story this is how it went my mom also knew about it and my brother ended up knowing about it a few a few weeks later, like right on the Dominican Republic trip is when he found out about it. So yeah, I did bring it up to many people, which results into all these text messages that she didn't even include. He actually, he brought up the text messages, but didn't complete them, which kind of seemed kind of fishy to me, but mm -hmm. let's hear what he has to say. I wanted to see her so bad that day is because we were not on good terms. As a matter of fact, it says it on there. Look, y'all. Yes, we're looking. You're right. We weren't on good terms. I wonder why. Why weren't we on good terms, Jason? I'd be trying to fix the problem. Yes, you were trying. You're trying to fix the problem. Or are you trying you to cover to your face? So bad. Now let's read the rest of the messages that you left out. I know I can't fix it over the phone. This time it does not like to listen to me. Is it that I don't listen to you? Or is it that you don't really want to hear what I have to say? Because if it's not what you want to hear, it's not. It's not okay. You're lacking energy on me. I'm going to try to do what I need to do to get my energy from you. <laughs> oh, this is the messages. So it starts off Bay, and I said yes. And he's like, I'm going to see you later tonight. And I said, I'm on my way to Jasmine's, like five minutes away from her house. And he's like, Bet, just be free from 1130 and up. And I said, Why? What's going on? And then he put arrows to, like, just be free. And I said, We're not on good terms, dog. What are you talking about? And he's like, there's no rules. I said, I'm going to see you. And I said, you're making rules. I said, I'm busy. Because this was August 20th. And Control. I was like, that was when I was like, very, like, it started hitting me really, like, more and more and more. And I, when I was already hanging out with my friend Jasmine, and I, I was telling her, bro, look at what he's saying. Like, I'm not meeting him up to do nothing. <gasps> yes, we're looking. You're right. We weren't on good terms. I wonder why. Why weren't we on good terms, Jason? I'd be trying to fix the problem. Yes, you were trying. You're trying to fix the problem because you wanted to see me so bad. Now let's read the rest of the messages that you left out. I know I can't fix it over the phone because Diamond does not like to listen to me. Is it that I don't listen to you? Or is it that you don't really want to hear what I have to say? Because if... That's not something you can fix over the phone. And that's not even really something that you can fix in person. Putting your hands on somebody is not okay. Like, you can't just fix that and be like, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I choked you, but, you know, I still love you, though. It's not what you want to hear. It's not. It's not okay. You're lacking energy on me. I'm going to try to do what I need to do to get my energy from you. <laughs> Oh, this is the, the messages. So it starts off Bay, and I said yes. And he's like, I'm gonna see you later tonight. And I said, I'm on my way to Jasmine's, like five minutes away from her house. And he's like, Bet, just be free from 11:30 and up. And I said, Why? What's going on? And then he put arrows to like just be free. And I said, We're not on good terms, dog. What are you talking about? And he's like, There's no rules. I said, I'm gonna see you. And I said, You're making rules. 
I said I'm busy. Because this was August 20th, and I was like, that was when I was like, very, like, it started hitting me really, like, more and more and more. And I, I was already hanging out with my friend Jasmine, and I, I was telling her, bro, look at what he's saying. Like, I'm not meeting him up to do nothing. Then he's like, yo, I don't give a F what terms we on. You still my girlfriend. I said I'm going to see you. In his head, I'm still his girlfriend. But didn't you try to break up with her? Okay. Like I said, if you touch me, that's it. It's over. I told you I wanted to be done, and you couldn't take it. And he goes, so stop asking, bringing stuff up, because I said I'm going to see you, like I said. And I said, LMFAO, we'll, we'll see. You don't own me. Because you don't. The way he's talking, you act like you own me. Like, uh, you don't give a F what terms we on. I'm going to see you, like I said. Oh, uh-uh. And then he goes, you expect me to be better when you're not even letting me. Like, you close the door in my face, and I can't even get to you. Because I... You choked her. You didn't, y'all didn't get in a little petty argument. You choked her. And you just want her to move past that like nothing ever happened. I'm confused. I don't want to be around you. You're crazy, dog. Like, you're crazy. And then when I'm around you, I have to be all nice and hee 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 hee. It's easy to be nice and hee 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 over text messages, but in person, it's like, mm. bro, like, no, bro. Like, you feel like that stuff you did to me, I don't appreciate. And he goes, I know, I want to get past that. You're not letting me. And I said, you didn't just do it once. And he goes, well, the ball's in your hand now. I'm trying, but if you can't accept that, then I don't know. And I said, I don't know if I'm comfortable with the things you've done to me. So I bring it up to him gradually. And he's like, same. So I think he was saying same. I was like, he's not comfortable with the things he's done. So I was like, things I've done, what, what have I done? I've just been distant because I was confused. I was like, what have I done? All I've been was distant because of some stuff you done did to me. And he goes, all right. I said physically, and he goes physically, whoa, and then I go, what do you mean by whoa, and then he puts sad faces, and I said, you think you can apologize and it all goes away, and he right. goes, no, and I said, okay then, and he goes, see you later, be free around 1130, and I, I didn't hang out with him, I was at my friend's house, and then he goes, hi baby, and then didn't answer, and he goes, yo, and then I'm like, I'm staying at Jasmine's, I'll see you another time, and he's like, no, no, stop doing that, every time you keep pushing me away, I'll be trying to be with you, no, I don't care, I'm not trying to be with you, you feel? And, but he's always like persistent. And then another time is also, he's like, I'm coming over and I said, I'm working right now. Like I kept trying to make excuses, you know, but like every excuse I made was always like, he goes, okay, that's fine. And he's like, God damn, you didn't even like my picture or comment. And I was like, what picture? And he goes, a recent one from earlier. And I said, okay. And he's like, damn, you gave up on me. I gave up. Because she didn't like your Instagram post. If y'all really paying attention, y'all can really see how controlling, insecure he is. Like, I up on you because I didn't like a picture on your, I didn't like your Instagram picture. How do you even know if I see it or not? And then he goes, I see. I never gave up on you, bro. I've always been with you. And damn, this is how it is now. Yes, this is how it is. And then I said, LOL, what are you saying, dog? I'm straight. Like, I was playing it off. Like, yeah, I'm straight. Like, what do you mean? I'm chilling. Also, where he had apologized to me, he texted me this, like, a few days after he had put his hands on me. He goes, babe, I feel like you're going through something right now, or you're stressed out. Whatever it is, I'm here for you. Keep your head up. I said, thank you. Like, dry as hell, because what? You feel like you're, I'm going through something right now? You put me through yes, what I'm going something through. you put me through. And he goes, like, I know words don't mean anything, Why but I'm so we sorry here? for how I made you feel. Like, it truly hurts me, and I'll never, I'll make sure that never happens again. I just want us to be us again. And I know it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. I love you, baby. And then I said, it's okay. When knowing it's not okay. Someone will ask you, are you fine? And you just be like, yeah, I'm okay. But you're not okay. You feel like you're not. But I'm not going to sit here and, like, you you don't want to put me through this, you feel? So moving forward, I like I said, my dad's video, he's a third-party person. My dad doesn't know the dates of everything. He doesn't know the details. And that's what Jason was pointing out throughout this whole video is that my dad is a liar because he doesn't know this. He didn't he didn't have the right date on this and that. Like, it's not between me and him and you. It's between me and you, so. What happened that day, I will never forget. I walked into Diamond's room. As a matter of fact, he said he walked into Diamond's room, right? But didn't he just say he called her on the phone? I just got on the phone, called her, and I said, Diamond, what's going on? So now you're just manipulating and twisting up the whole, his, my dad's whole story. You talking about, one, let's, let's just zoom into the text messages of when he said he was on the phone. And I asked him to come to the studio. Mm -hmm. 
that's at 8 o'clock at night on August 14th, okay? And my dad didn't know this. He didn't even, I didn't, he didn't know till August 16th. My dad made that mistake in his video. He doesn't know the dates. Not everybody, if you, if I ask you today, what do you remember what you were wearing August 16th? You're not going to know. Or do you remember what happened to your best friend on August 16th, what she was doing? You're not going to know because that's not you and you're in that position or you're not going to remember those details. Did, right. she, did he walk in the room or did he call her? He, what? Those are two different time frames. He said in the morning, he walked in the room in the morning and then you play and then you switch up and cut apart saying because what he says and he called me on the phone talking about right. the studio. That he was like confused so as to why I came to my studio session. There's a reason why I was inviting him to my studio session, but he didn't know why I was inviting him to my studio sessions. So let's play my abuse story where I talk about the day you put your hands on me and how it happened chronologically. So my dad was about to leave to work and he said bye to me and Jason and then he noticed that Jason like brought me flowers. So there it is. I said to myself on August 14th how it went down and that was the day that you put your hands on me later that day, not in the morning, later that day which I explained already in my story that you did not point out. Let me show y'all that I was actually with her that day. You want to know how we know? Because in my abuse story, maybe if you would have watched it or put that part she in, posted the video I said, the I saw a video when he was actually at my house that morning, like, what are you doing? Yeah, she already put that in the video. So he was trying to, what he was trying to do was beat her to the punch of her making a video and not seeing what she already posted, and he just making himself look dumb because he's already stating stuff that she already stated. He's stating stuff that she already stated. She said that already. But let's keep going though. So as you can see, at the end of that video, I'm holding the flowers and stuff. And the reason why he bought me flowers was to apologize about the little disagreements we were having in LA a few days before this. And then later that day, that those same arguments that were happening prior to this day or whatever came up again. And I was telling him I didn't want to be with him anymore. And that he choked me. Slide with some food. But I thought I came unexpectedly. I thought you didn't know I was coming. Before we move forward, I also want to say that I'm going to admit to my faults as well. I did not realize when he had came to my hair salon. Jason came to my hair salon unannounced. I did not know he was coming at all. He didn't text me about him coming at all. And I said in my view story, but he came unannounced. And that was when the last time I saw him, I felt scared and I did feel shocked. Like it was like, what the hell when he had came to this, the hair salon? Even my hair lady knows that too, because I was like, when he left, I was like, what the hell? Like, why did he just pop up like that? Like it shocked me, like my heart literally dropped. So that's why I said what I said in my abuse story, not knowing and not realizing that I did text him saying, slide with some food. I didn't realize that because he never texted me back. And that was like an hour, an hour later that he had came to the salon. So I was just literally caught off guard. Okay, so that that part's confusing to me because you told him to text, uh, you told him to slide with some food, but you're saying that you forgot that you text him to slide with some food, but then he came anyway. So that part right there kind of confused me a little bit because he did bring the food. So I felt like if I would text, bring some food, and you would have came, but you would have came hours later, I would remember once I saw the food that like, oh yeah, I did text you and tell you to bring some food. So, especially if he was he was hungry. You get what I'm saying? If he was hungry, when he saw that food, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, I did text you. So, I'm a little confused about that part. Just a little tad bit confused. It could be she was trying to um, play it safe around him, like to make it seem like everything was okay. But deep down, she really was. I don't know. But, mm. I didn't realize I said that. So, I apologize for making that little mistake. But other than that, and then Jason, you try to say, oh, well. But how come on September 10th, you was at my house? As a matter of fact, here's the proof. Why did you come to my house then? Da, 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 da. Actually, I also did forget to mention, so I apologize this because I didn't mean to not bring this up. But you called me after the fact 
that you left the hair salon and you said right after you leave make sure you come by so I can see how you look and then I said okay so then when I left I told you okay I'm going to stop by so I stopped by which I did just drive I literally just drove because he lives right down the block I drove to his house stopped by that's why you can see my car is not parked in the driveway or nothing stopped by said hi and literally left like right after that literally left did not hang out chill with you I'm just stopping this real quick, y'all, to see. Oh, we only got a few more minutes we left. We haven't chilled in a while. Prior to that and that day, we haven't chilled, like, hung out, sleepover type stuff in a while. So moving forward, I had said in my video that I was in the booth when he had posted his I'm single post mm -hmm. and they had posted his thing and it went all over social media. And also when my dad had posted on Instagram the video of him saying what he was saying on my Instagram. I was in the booth, and Jason questioned it. So now you're telling me you was in the booth when you found out this happened, but when your dad was recording, he was in your room. Okay, theorist. Okay, scientist. When he was in your, he was in your room, but you were in the booth. I didn't know I had to be in my room for anyone to be in my room. You could just my door is not locked. You could just walk through my room. I mean. I'm saying like he could have walked in her room. Did you guess it? The camera could have been Woo! the camera could have been set up in her room already and her dad could have been like, okay, I'm just do it right here. You was wrong. But why out of every place in that big house that you have, why would he be in your room? What do you mean? He could be in my room because he wanted good lighting. I don't know. He chose to be in my room because the situation had to deal with me. I don't know. He chose to be in my room because in his video, he pulled out the my bed sheets and what it says and stuff. I don't know. It could be any reason. Why don't you ask him? I don't know. Actually, I made this little video after I got out of the booth and seen everything on social <laughs> media. I made this video on Snapchat in the studio. Hey, guys. It's Donnie. And I just want to say, yes, I've seen everything. I've been seeing these things. I haven't really been on my phone. I haven't had time to sit here and talk to y'all. I've seen what my dad posted. That is out of my control. I also know that your dad does not know how to edit, so so who edited the video? Because I know he did it. Oh, he doesn't know how to edit. Oh, okay. Well, not only does he have a personal editor and videographer, which not I'm just going to bring up how the things, the videos that my dad posts on his Instagram, the professional, clear as crazy like put together videos he has a personal editor and filmer for all that i don't even know my dad's more tech than me because bit that he's speedy all that stuff i did not help him with i don't know i don't know but yeah all this professional videos and the way it was edited and all the things that he posts is by a personal editor so yeah and the funny thing is while i was cooking up some real heat in the studio you and your friend nate was cooking up your next clout chasing little scheme and how to mess up diamond one on one and talk crap and start problems one on one. <sighs> Baby, I know it hurts that you can't have me. I know it hurts. I know you want this, but he can't have it. Well, let's keep going though. You're the one who's having sex with me. We're always having sex to. <sighs> had... Quick question Why was that something that had to be brought up? That's how you could tell he's just very childish and immature and controlling. Like, what what did that have to do anything with what was being said? I guess something real quick. You're always talking about how and bragging about how we've had sex and all this right, stuff. And why are you we're bragging? always having sex. Really? Were we? Because all I had really thought it was was foreplay. It didn't seem like that much of sex to me. The way you bragging about having have, having sex having sex with me, I can't really do the same. <sighs> well, let's keep going though. But well, let's keep going though. But let's keep going through, Jason. Let's keep going. Because in Orlando, we have the apartment. We have the. We. We have the. I know you don't know how to speak French now, but you talk about we, bitch. That's our apartment. Have the Period. Apartment by. Apartment. The apartment that I have on my name that I pay the bills for with my own money. My name, my own money, the bills. I bet you don't even know what day I have to pay the bills on when the do the water bills do. No, you don't know. This is my apartment. You talk about talking about some weed. Have the apartment in Orlando that's actually close to my school, my university. Yes, that I attend. That I attend. 
She's still making her own money on YouTube. So, I mean, it's not like she's looking for any handouts. 
She's doing the same thing you're doing. Been doing it longer than you. Okay. Dad, like he was talking to my dad the whole video. You spoiled her so much. All the things I did in high school and the things that I'm doing now that I don't really have to do, but I do it because I like to take care of myself. I like to pay my own bills. I just bought a car actually in my own name with my own cash and all uh, right a few days ago. I like to do things for myself. That's why I did what I did in high school. That's why I do what I do today. Not because anyone has to give it to me. None of that was given to me. Grades, this and that, all of that's hard work for you. All of that is being consistent and having time management skills. All of that is what it is. So mm-hmm. if that's what being spoiled means, then I don't really understand. With your 2.7 GPA, I can kind of see as to why you don't know what spoiled equals. And it's not anything that has to do with somebody that's hardworking and gets their own. Somebody that hasn't asked their parents for money in years. Somebody that's been getting a paycheck since 14. Somebody that's 18 years old and has their own apartment and pays their own bills. In that apartment with their own money. Everything has to go my way. Um, I've learned a lot in sports and I've learned a lot in everything that I've done. And it, nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. Getting into your colleges, doing all that, doing all this schoolwork. Studying for your SATs and ACTs, not everything goes your way. This is exhausting and annoying having to keep hearing and just talking about a narcissistic, borderline liar. So these past few months have honestly been a really good learning experience for me. And I'm happy that I'm still here till this day and I'm here to talk to you guys, you know, in flesh on camera about the situation that happened to me and able to share my story with not only my supporters but all okay y'all it's like three minutes left of the video so I, it sounds like she's ending it so i might be gonna play the rest but my thoughts on it is at the end of the day back and forth with the videos she got him verbally saying i hit you because i was trying to get your attention at the end of the day all the facts that were stated that's all i needed to hear you verbally said i hit you bruh because i was trying to get your attention that's that's it like if you was to play that in front of the court i hit you bro like that's him he said it so at the end of the day i was first i was kind of on the fence i'm not the type of person that like to like take sides especially people i don't know but you verbally said it like and then you sat there and you made a video and you cut out certain parts without telling everything showed certain messages like if you want to tell something tell the whole thing it's three sides to a story yes it's the one person side the other person side and the truth only two people who will really know what went down and what exactly was said are them too but from watching his video, like I said, I ain't watched that whole hour and 37 minute video. That was dead. All right, that was dead. But from watching his video and her video, the proof on her side is up here. The proof down is, for him is like. But uh, I hope that this was a learning lesson, you know, for both of them. Um, you know, I, I do feel bad for her for the simple fact. I don't feel, I, I don't like to say I feel bad for people because some people don't want you to feel bad for them. You get what I'm saying? It's like a learning experience. But I, I am sorry that she had to go through that, especially at such a young age. I believe she's only like 18. And I feel bad for him, for him to do something like that and then go in front of a camera and make up this whole thing of how he didn't do it and try to flip it and talk about the dad and talk like you he if you watch his video he talks about everything besides him putting his hands on diamond he talks about everything but that literally the the video is an hour and 37 minutes long and i went through the comments and everybody said like go to like 50 minutes or something because the whole other half is him addressing diamond's dad 
you're addressing a grown man, but you're not addressing the fact that you put your hands on his daughter. I'm pretty sure, like she said, if I would have seen those marks on your neck and I didn't do it, I would have been like, where did those marks come from? So you telling me you noticed everything about her, but you ain't noticed those marks on her neck. You ain't noticed them or you didn't care to notice them because you did them. You knew they was there and you knew that you caused them, so you wasn't going to bring it up. And that's why you were mad guilty when she was tweeting, Valentine's never the answer, and people were speculating and, and, and investigating. But... All I'm going to say is, y'all, like she said, violence is never okay. Domestic abuse is never okay for women and men. Don't put your hands on each other. Like, that's that's it. That's that. But this is my first reaction video, y'all. I actually like doing these, so I actually might do some more. Like, this was actually pretty fun. But anyways, thank you for watching about October Day 15. Comment, like, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can get it notification every time i post a video it is homecoming week so it's time to turn up i'll see y'all in these litty vlogs the rest of this week